Hi guys, Felix here from 4minutesorless.com. Today I'm going to be talking about my Bowman biker jeans. Now I've had a lot of problems with these, uh, these pants and I'll get into why that is in the blog post below. But uh, for the sake of the video, we'll keep it about the pants and I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like. So I mean the first thing to note about these jeans is just the weight of the fabric. Uh, these are 100% cotton, so not the elasticine blends. And if I were to get them again, I would get an elasticine blend just because I find these very rigid. But uh, I mean, just holding them up here, you can see how everything really keeps its shape. Uh, next to my Saint Laurent jeans I have, just the hems are a lot thicker. Uh, and that's partly due to the weight of the fabric and that's partly to do with the quality of the stitching. Uh, here when they're laying flat, you can see how the knees really keep their shape and that's because of the panels and the way it's stitched, as well as the ribbing detail, which does give it some, uh, some heft and it gives it a little bit of shape. Um, the fabric being 100% cotton doesn't have any stretch, however you do get some stretch in the rib detailing. And the reason for that is because of the way it's made. When, the, when they make these things, they sort of fold them all together as you can see here, and then they're kept together using a zigzag stitch at the back. And now the zigzag stitch will give it a little bit of movement, some stretch to it, so when you do move the rib panels, you do get some stretch despite the jeans not having any stretch in them. So it's a nice design feature and it does provide um, a lot of functionality, which you'll see at the end. Uh, the zippers are the classic Lampo zippers. Now they were using these up until I think 2015. Um, for the current season, which is fall, winter, 15, 16, I think they switched them. I don't know if they switched them to YKK zippers, but the poles are definitely different. Um, the nice thing about the fifth pocket there is it's quite a large fifth pocket and I use mine to hold my keys, so I like that about it. Uh, once again, just the hems are very solid, very well made. Uh, the back paneling here, I find this does dig into the back of my knees a little bit, just because it's so rigid. Uh, but I mean, not necessarily a problem. I wear it very tight and fitted, so if you don't, you won't have that issue. My biggest issue with these pants, however, is the back pocket here. I bought these online and I didn't really realize how much of an issue this would be for me, but because of that zipper there, it's hard for me to fit my phone. Um, I can't really get my credit cards and stuff in there, so I do have some issues with it. So if you are going to buy these, make sure you try them on in store and see if it's a problem or not. Uh, the back paneling is exactly the same as the ribs. It's that folded way of doing it and then they zigzag stitch it at the back to give it some stretch. And this helps a lot if you're sitting down, I find. Uh, flipping them inside out, you can see all the construction detailing. The zippers on the front thighs do have a pocket, which you can see here underneath the main one. Um, I find that does add a bit of a bulk to it. So, you know, you maybe want a thinner fabric if you're going to get these pants. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, here you can see that zigzag stitch at the back, and you can see how it stretches when you pull it apart. That's what allows you to have that detailing. Uh, just playing with the fabric here, you can really see that the fabric has no stretch to it. It's a very thick fabric, and there's definitely a quality there of these uh, Made in Japan pants that wasn't in the Made in Italy pants from a, a season or two ago. I mean, just very, very solid, very, very nice. The quality is definitely there. Here you can see me uh, bending my leg there, and you get the movement in the rib paneling, which allows that with the 100% cotton pants. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can see my full blog post below, and uh, we'll see you next week.